Today we're going to be doing an inky technique. Um, having some fun with the background here. I'm using um, Copic reinkers, alcohol based inks, and these fun um, ink applicator tools from Sukineko. And I'm going to use this just to create kind of a fun background on my card. You know, kind of a color wash of all this ink on here. Because you're going to want to have it react later on. So lots and lots of ink is a good thing. And now that you've got your background, what you're going to do is take a background stamp and apply it. So I'm going to use this really fun daisy stamp and what I'm going to do is create an ink pad out of blending solution. This is Copic blending solution. And I'm just going to place this on this empty ink pad material and ink up my stamp. It's a little big, so I'm going to flip that over. Just put that right on there. And then I'm going to apply this to my card front. So I'm stamping with the blending solution. I'll apply that one more time. Do it on the other side. Throw that on there again. See, so you get sort of a ghosting. It's really fun. But what I like to do is create some depth and dimension. So now I'm going to take that same stamp and ink it up with some um, gold brilliant ink. Just get lots of gold on there and go over those same areas. the gold ink. And you're going to see it's going to give it a lot of depth and dimension. Okay. Now, we have this nice strip in here. I want to take advantage of that by stamping a border strip, and I'm going to do this in Memento London Fog, just to make it a little bit lighter than a black contrast would be. So I'm going to use this gray, stamp that right there. Now I'm going to color our stamped portion here, and I'm going to use an RV21, RV23, and RV25 for the flowers. So starting with the lightest color, the RV21, I'm just going to go around and around and fill in the flowers. Okay. Then I'm going to take RV23 and outline. Just inside the petals. And then RV25, I'm going to flick it in on the edges a little bit. Just a touch. And to finish that off, we're just going to go round and round with the lightest color back to that RV21 until your eye is happy with what you see. Okay. You can see that so far. Okay, and we'll take the YG21, YG23, and YG25. Notice those codes exactly match what I used in the pinks as far as the number. That just means they have the same gray value and the same intensity, so they're really going to go nicely together with the pink that I used. Okay, and outline the stem. Okay, 
And now I'm going to take the YG23, outline my leaves, and the darkest, the YG25, and just kind of flick it in from one edge. This gives it that nice contrast. Okay, and to finish, the YG21, just a little push and pull right there in the center. Like I said, just till your eyes happy with it. These are so, such tiny elements that it's really easy to color them. Okay, and we'll move on to the next segment. Now that we have our stamp design, I want to do a little embellishing on the card, so I found some really pretty pearls. This is self-adhesive, and this gorgeous flower. I want to have this sort of coming off of here. Okay, I stamped a little sentiment from Heidi Swap here. I'm going to apply my flower to the top. I like to embellish this a little bit with some leaves. It's kind of sticking out from underneath. So we kind of go with our little stamped bits and coordinate. There we go. And one little blue flower to bring it all together. That pretty blue in there too. And of course this blue flower is naked in the center, so we need to apply a center to that. I'm going to use these uh, Satan studs stud and crystal centers and apply that like so and there we have it and I think you can see that from one side you can see like the resist or I'm sorry the the blender how it removed and then the other way you can see the gold it's really a unique three-dimensional look thanks for watching